and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a fabulous card to show you using the um, Love You Always Suite. Or, well, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess this was part of the suite last year. Um, but really I was trying to say bundle. Um, but, you know, I've got the paper that came with it. I've got the ribbon. Because, you know, right now, if you get online and you use my online store link directly below, you can buy the beautiful, really be beautiful paper for a steal. Because it's all clearance and the ribbon clearance. So, you know, it makes it very reasonable. <laughs> so, sorry, I got distracted there by, by getting you a deal. So, what we've got. I'll kind of push some things aside here. But what I've got is a piece of crumb cake that is eight and a half by five and a half that I am going to fold and set aside. Then, let's see, ooh, be extra careful here. Nicole needs to be extra careful. We want those little hearts. We probably already lost one. Two, four, six. Yeah, I've already lost one. I only need it two. So, so we're in luck here. All right. So then, so I've got a piece of blushing bride that is four by five and a quarter, along with this gorgeous "Love You Always" designer series paper that is four by. I'm going to guess one and a half, one and a half inches in length. And I am just going to attach this to the card. Like so. With about a half inch to spare. And then also in that same desire in a series paper, I pre-cut out this floral heart because it's so pretty. It is so, so, so pretty. Okay, and I am going to also glue it to the front of the card. Need to move it over. I am going to put some ribbon there. All right. And then I'm going to take this Blushing Bride metallic ribbon and I'm just going to tie a little knot, wrap it around and tie a knot. Maybe didn't make that long enough. Oh no, we did it. Okay. And I got the sparkling stuff on top. So, you know, I really did it. Did a really good job. Okay. So there I have that tied. I don't know why I'm rolling that back in. So I'm re-wrapping my ribbon. Because the moment you set it down, it always unwinds. <laughs> okay. So, here it is, pretty, pretty. Then I'm gonna take this and put this to the front of my card. So pretty. Okay. Then, they got this great little banner. Love it, because it just, Oh, and it gives that like nice little pop-up and everything, and oh, I just love it. 
All right, so next I'm gonna take my Blushing Bride ink pad. Let's see if I can bring this out more. Oh, oh, well, yeah, see? Sorry, guys. Should have had a bigger window. I just didn't lift that up, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna stamp Be My Valentine in Blushing Bride. And set this aside, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this on. All right, so then I can just fold those. I love how this this works. So if I don't want it popping up, which it's kind of nice that it does that, um, I can put a little bit of glue back here and squeeze it shut so that it just appears like a perfect little banner. Um, and I think I'm going to do that this time. For whatever reason, I just don't want it popped up. And then I will also stick a little bit back here just to hold everything in place. And I'll count to 10 like I tell my kids. You know, be patient. All right. See, now I got that, that cool little look. And come in right across here. Be my Valentine. Perfect. And then I've got some of these little hearts that I used this designer series paper to cut out. And I'm going to put them on. Got my own hearts. Love it when that happens, when you can get your own thing. I mean, minor details that I should have used my take a pick tool. But there we go. Isn't that fabulous? A quick, easy, yet stunning looking card. How do you like that? So, thank you so much for watching my video. If you could give me thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, if you would like any of these items I have demonstrated for you today, please shop my online store. That link is provided below. And directly below that is the shopping list of everything that I use. And then if you keep scrolling, I have given you the dimensions of how to make this card so you can repeat everything. Um, with that all in mind, um, I absolutely love hearing from you, so please, please feel free to leave comments. If you have any questions, you can put those in the comments section, or you can email me at bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. That is provided below if you need that information. And on top of all that, you can check out my website, bigskycards.com, where you could find this beautiful, beautiful card as a card kit. Um, it comes as a set of four, okay, when you purchase, and everything comes cut, punched, uh, die cut, embossed, uh, I don't know what else I'm talking, but it comes all designed, and you can follow along with this video to make this, and or look at the instruction, or pictures, and, you know, make it, and, you know, all you have to do is have glue. And my glue is nothing fancy. It's just the Tombow glue provided by Stampin' Up. So, I mean, that's all. And I can send some with it. You can purchase one from me, and it can come with your card kit, you know? So it is a one-stop shop if you don't want to spend the time to design and or else you don't have the time to cut all that other thing and or else you don't want to buy it all. But you still want to make a beautiful card and you can go, hey, I made that. So check that out. That is BigSkyCards.com. Thank you so much for watching. Happy stamping. Bye.